Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. And today we're going to be taking a look at the loot from 100 Zalcano. As you guys know, I've been doing a lot of gauntlet recently, but then a lot of people suggested that I should really try out Zalcano before it gets nerfed, because currently Zalcano is actually a lot more money per hour than the gauntlet actually is. So that doesn't exactly make a lot of sense, because gauntlet is much harder to do, way more challenging, and Zalcano is just a PVM, I mean, he's just a skilling boss, uh, but nonetheless, Zalcano is very fun to do. It is a boss that uh, requires your room crafting skill, smithing skill, and mining skill combining together to kill the boss. Very self explanatory, very easy to do. So, this is just gonna be a loot from 100. If you guys wanna see a loot from 100 Gauntlet for a comparison, and then perhaps a loot from 100 um, Corrupted Gauntlet for an extra comparison, do let me know by liking this video. And with that being said, we're gonna Gonna jump right into the loot from 100 as volcano. Here goes nothing. I mean, it's. Let's just see if maybe. Okay, hey, 7.5 mil. I guess I'm gonna do a little bit more volcano. Um, right. Okay, I did not expect that. I'll just move these down here. We're gonna keep track of let's say 100. In the last 17 KC, we got about 8 million and 27 shards. The KC is now 30, which is kind of cool. There we go. So we've made about 8.6 mil in, uh, you know, the first 30 KC. I'm going to go ahead and sell everything because my inventory is getting way too full to do this efficiently. So let's go ahead and sell everything and I'll just keep the coins in my inventory. Oh my, what? <laughs> what? What? Bro, that's kind of insane, not gonna lie. It is time to sell stuff again. So now we are on KC number 59. Let's go ahead and sell everything real quick. We are almost at 10 mil so far, so pretty decent. So the way Zalcano works is when you are an MVP, you will get a lot better loot. And uh, the way you see if you're MVP or not is whether you get an Ash or whether you don't get an Ash. So if you get an Ash, you are an MVP and your loot's gonna be nice. Well, don't you just love the look on this inventory? Look at all the loot, it's absolutely amazing. We are at 77 KC right now, we're gonna be selling all of it again. I've also started to tick manipulate a boss a little bit. I might explain it at the end of the video, but very nice. I'm getting about 20k XP an hour, so not a lot, but uh, yeah, it's time to sell everything again and see how much money we end up with. Some things still don't sell, even for a very lowered price but we're now up to 11 mil and i think what i'll end up doing is if i do end up getting a crystal weapon seed i will maintain these shards and then just use them to create a crystal pickaxe i think it's gonna be worth it since i'm not 99 mining yet i'm 99 wood cutting already so i don't care about that and i don't really care about armor either because it's pretty shit but a pickaxe is gonna be probably very useful for the actual boss itself and for the 99 mining grind because I will be working towards that because I'm also working on maxing the account, right? Um, so pretty damn hyped about it and I can't wait to hopefully get another seed. I sold them yesterday for I think 7 mil each and today they are a little bit more. Uh, by the way, these you can elk one for 6k each and uh, they're apparently an extra 600k but I think if you make divine potions you can even make more money than that so pretty excited to actually price check the loot from full 100 but so far I'm really enjoying the boss. KC is 94 and we have a little bit of selling to do again so I'll talk to you as soon as I sell all of the loot and we are now already on 13 mil profit very nice alongside with 134 shards obviously saving these for a crystal pickaxe I could just buy a seed right now but I kind of don't want to do that. But I kind of do. So should I do it? Uh, I don't know. I'll probably do it after I'm done with all the KC. KC is now 100, which is awesome. Let's do 13 more because that's where I started a video on. And then we're going to have a nice price check of exactly 100 Zolcano. So that's kind of cool. Okay, so look at the inventory. Look at the KC. We are now on 113, which means just one more to go. And we reach that 100 mark. And you know what? I feel like it is correct that I show a full kill on how I do it just before while well, we actually fully finish the loot video. So I do tick manipulate but I probably do it wrong. I just do it a couple of times because I'm kind of uh, doing it more casually. But the way it works you want to mine the glowing rock but I'm pretty sure a lot of people already know. But if you don't know you know what why not show you that as well. 
Um, obviously, you can skip through this part if you know how Zolcano works. Um, but you want to get your imbued Tephra by first, obviously, mining the rocks, then smelting the rocks, then imbuing the rocks. I personally like to wait for the blue circles to appear, but that totally depends on how big of a team this is. And this seems to be like a seven-man team or something like that. So I keep track on Zolcano's HP, and here we go. It's going to be a blue, and the blue is going to boost the damage from my Tephra. So as you can see, I just dealt a lot of damage. That's going to increase the chances of me actually being an MVP as well. And uh, I can just, uh, you know, mine the boss. I don't actually think you can that this, what I'm doing right now, actually even impacts the speed. But I do it anyways. I don't know why. Uh, it, you can definitely um, do it like this. You saw how I just got four. So one step before the rock, I use Terramin on the Swamp Tar. And then I usually just get four or even more sometimes of Tefra. Once again, this could work even if you don't have the tar, but it feels for me that I can always make it when I do have the tar. Um, now, once again, I'm a bit... Uh, I don't exactly know uh, fully how how ticking everything works, but I do it and I think it works. So, um, okay, here we go on the blue again. Deal extra damage and then in case if it doesn't die, I'm going to start mining already. I want to be mining all the time because I feel like it increases your MVP chance. Obviously, this could not be true because I do not know but uh, yeah that's basically how I do it and there's only one more rotation after this and the next glowing one is gonna be up there gonna stamina up you see how I did it again and I got four instantly you see how much faster I am compared to these people I just tick it boom get it and I move on and uh, it does work really well a lot of times so here you saw those uh, little uh, ground things spawned a little bit faster if that is the case I'll probably just do like two and then just quickly shoot them while they're still on the floor so I get that extra damage in and you see how they disappeared and I got two shots in and nobody else got any shots in that means I'll most likely actually end up being the MVP just because of that at the end of it and once again while others are just waiting doing nothing I'm gonna be out here and I'm gonna be mining and you see how I got 105 XP by ticking there and uh, it's already low HP, so I'm not gonna smelt all of it. They might actually just finish it, that's fine. And this is gonna finish the actual kill, and hopefully we get an MVP if we can get one more there. There we go. And that's basically how I do Zolcano. We're now going to go ahead and sell all of the loot that we received. I didn't get an MVP, feels bad, man. But it's time to go to the Grand Exchange, sell all the loot, see exactly how much money we make, and then invest the money that we made into a Crystal Pickaxe. Here is the final price check, so 15 mil plus, plus all these shards. Now, before I go ahead and, uh, well, I'll sell everything and then I'll show you what you can do with these shards because there's a lot of things that you can do. All right, so silver ores and iron bunch don't exactly sell, but we made about 15 mil and 163 shards from 1k KC. You know what, I'll just sell it for 1 GP, I'll let someone merge me. And uh, just so we have everything. So uh, one thing that you can do with all these shards is uh, making divine potions. The best divine potions to make is super combat potion. So um, if I just buy one and show you the profit margin. And if I quickly, you know what, just in case. I know you can choose the number, but I don't want to make a mistake. Oh, fuck. How many did I have? Alright, so basically the way you can make Divine Potions is by crushing your Crystal Shard. I'll only crush one, you get 10 Crystal Dust. And then for every dose of your potion, you use one Crystal Dust. So for four dose potion, we're going to use four Crystal Dust. So, um, let's say one made 10. Uh, one made 10. We're going to do insane math right here. So we have 10 Dust right now, and then four of those Dust makes a Divine Potion. So four, four Dust equals full divine potion and now we can sell this divine potion for oh okay they kind of went down yesterday i could sell them for much more but we made about let's just say about 9k okay it's even more it's 9.6k but let's say it is 9k profit if it goes even more down or whatever 9k profit from four dust so if my scuffed math isn't wrong, all of these crystal shards should be worth about 3.6 mil on top of that. Now I'll show you how I came to this math so someone in the comments that is actually good at math can uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but if we look at things, this is 15 mil plus, uh, if we look at examine actually, 
uh, this is 15.5 mil plus 3 mil, that's 18.5 plus 6, that's like 19.1 mil from 100 Zalcano, but that was with the seed. So minus 7, that will be about 12 million, um, 12 million uh, GP per 100 Zalcano, which I think is beautiful, is amazing. Um, but now if we take a look at how I came to this math, let's try to recreate. All right, let me explain. We have 163 crystal shards. You turn those into dust equals times 10 equals we have 1630 uh, dust. Now, if we want to make potions, I think we need to divide this by 4 because it's each one dose or whatever. So we divide this by 4, boom, we have 407 full potions. And then we times those by 9600 and we get about 3.912 million. So if it's just 9, uh, nine uh, it, if it was just 9000, it would be the number that I got earlier. It would be 3.6, but realistically, it's almost 4 million profit if I turn all of those shards into potions. However, I will keep them for now and then create a crystal tool. Now there are a couple of other things that you can do with all of those crystal shards and one of those things is you can open crystal chests which we did in the last video and you can also obviously create all the different crystal equipment which I will probably do in the future that's why I am saving it. However that's gonna be everything for today's video if you guys enjoyed the simple like goes a long way and if this video gets a nice amount of likes we are gonna go ahead and do loot from 100 of normal gauntlet next and then if that video as well we're gonna dilute from a hundred corrupted gauntlet but those videos are gonna take me a long time so i'm not exactly sure whether i want to dedicate those times into do completing gauntlet or whether i want to dedicate that time into doing world 45 series so it all depends on what you guys want and uh, let me know in the comments of what you want so hopefully you enjoyed the video i'll see you again very soon with another one and until then have a wonderful day Bye bye